Some solutions will require you to expose a smart form to be opened by public users who don't have user accounts in your organization. In K25, you can configure two options for public users to open your smart forms anonymously, either by configuring an IIS website with anonymous access or by using the smart forms designer and toggling the anonymous forms checkbox for a form. Configuring IIS is beyond the scope of this video, but you should be aware that you can configure a separate SmartForms runtime site in IIS with anonymous access if desired. This eliminates the need to set the anonymous access setting and K25 documentation provides more information on the steps to configure IIS in this fashion. In this topic, we'll just focus on how to enable the anonymous form setting for K25 and K2 Cloud SmartForms as they work the same way in both environments. To configure a smart form with anonymous access, follow these steps. First, create or edit a view or form using K2 Designer. I have a form open in K2 Designer for this demonstration. Next, in the Properties section under Advanced, put a check in the box for anonymous access. This option is available for views as well. Now, as seen in this image, once you have enabled that property, finish your other edits for the view or form and then click Finish to save it back to K2. Be sure to check all views and forms back in as well. Copy the runtime URL for the anonymous view or form from the Properties page in K2 Designer. From there, open the URL anonymously. You can test this out by using the incognito or in private instances for your browsers. The view or form will open without requiring credentials. Now, when you do this, K2 executes the form using the application pool account on a site that normally requires authentication. The setting is more secure and removes the need for you to configure a second runtime site in IIS for anonymous access. Please keep the following considerations in mind when you use anonymous views or forms, especially with K2 Cloud. Once you configure the anonymous access property on a view or form, an OAuth token must be cached with the K2 Cloud application pool account for the form to have user context if you're using it in SharePoint. To create the cache token, you must open the anonymously enabled view or form for the first time as a user with sufficient minimum rights to perform actions in a SharePoint site, list, or library. Do not use an administrator's account to perform this task. Be sure to use a SharePoint user that has minimum rights to run the form successfully. The minimum rights depend on the solution and what you've designed it to do. Be sure to review K2 Cloud documentation as it relates to using this setting with SharePoint for more details.